Hey, welcome back. In this episode, you'll see how to use the Pagey gem to add pagination to a simple list. The Pagey gem is a popular pagination tool for Rails uh, and other Ruby frameworks. And in a past episode, I think we used uh, Will Paginate or Kaminari. We kind of like looked at the two. So if you're interested in using either of those gems, head over and take a look at that episode in this channel. Otherwise, today we're gonna dive in and use Pagey to paginate this list of listings. So the first thing we need to do is add the gem. So I'm gonna drop down into this sort of, uh, it's easy to use and customize. Um, so the first step is to just, yeah, I guess just add the Pagey gem. So we're gonna say bundle add Pagey. Um, and then we need to include it in the controllers where we actually wanna use pagination. So I'm gonna open up the listings controller here and add that as a new sort of module we're including. We also wanna include it in the helpers where this is relevant. So the listings helper, and we'll just drop it in there. If you're using pagination a lot in your application, you can just put these in your application controller because we're only doing it on the listings page. Um, I think it makes sense to just keep it in the listings controller. Uh, so we're gonna say pagey is listings. And then here, what we do is we, we pass the collection into this pagey function and that should paginate for us. And what's interesting here is we get back a tuple of a pagey object. This has like all the pagination stuff, like what's the next page? What's the count of the page? How many are we on, et cetera, et cetera. And then listings is the, you know, the list of listings. Uh, and then finally, we wanna add the navigation items to the view. So we'll go to the listings index and we'll add it before our list and after our list just for fun. And if we refresh the page, we have not started the server, so we need to do that. Um, and when the page or when the server reloads, now we can see our, uh, our, our list is the same and we only have one page. So we have our previous and next buttons, but they don't do anything because we only have one page of listings. We could add some more listings or what we could do is just limit the number of items here by passing in some fixed number. So if we say six, then we only see six items and if we can go to the next page. Now, now you can see there's like two pages. Um, I actually don't mind the styling here of these elements. <laughs> also, as you know, I'm not like a huge styling person. So uh, I think we'll keep the style of the navigation that like that for now, but there are sort of tools for styling it um, with Tailwind and you can apply different classes and such. Um, Okay, so that's really pagey in a nutshell. The next section here, what I wanna do is make this look a little bit nicer. So I'm actually gonna like use some Tailwind UI uh, and this grid view, because ultimately we want our list of listings, at least in this sort of like discovery view to have the images or like sort of like a, you know, banner or hero image for each listing and then the name of the listing below it. So we'll just grab the code for this from Tailwind UI. Again, this is sort of like a, um, yeah, a cheat code to not have to learn too much of this stuff. Uh, they have a lot of the components that you would expect sort of all ready to go. So I am going to just drop that in and then let's take a look at what we get. So now we're able to paginate, but nothing is actually changing page to page. So if we, if we take a look at what's actually in these, um, these line items, we have uh, a div that wraps up that image. And inside the div, we have a button and that's for the screen reader to view details for something. And what we can do is actually just print out the like listing.title here so that it um, prints out that title of the listing for screen readers. And then we also wanna print that out here, listing.title, so that we get a nice little view down below, cabin in the woods. And for fun, we'll also print out the listing's nightly price. And again, this is in sort of just um, sense, integer sense. Uh, and now we have sort of something going on where we can see those. Now, ideally what we wanna do is when we click on the image, it should bring us to the listing detail view. Right now, this is a div, which is not clickable. So I'm gonna make that a, uh, an A tag so that we can make this a link. And we're gonna go to the listing path for the listing and that should work just fine. So now when we click on this image, it brings us to the listing show page. Uh, the one other thing I thought might make sense is just getting us a little bit of breathing room underneath the navigation item and maybe on top of this one because they're pretty close. So I'm going to wrap these in a div with class like margin bottom four. And then I'll do the same on the, bo on the, the bottom navigation. 
but instead of adding the margin on the bottom, we're gonna add the margin on the top. And if we refresh, now we have a little bit more breathing room and I think that looks pretty nice. Four across isn't my favorite, but we're gonna, um, ultimately we're gonna chop this page sort of into two columns and then we'll have a, a map on the right and our grid of listings on the left. Uh, but for now, this is kind of where we'll leave it. And that's the, the pagey gem. It's pretty straightforward. There's a bunch of other stuff you can do, but for our purposes, that's really all that we need. Uh, all right. Thanks so much for watching and we'll see you in the next one.